end and great drives, but the size of Muhlenberg really threw her off and a lot of shots are being blocked. There's a three hit by Cook in the corner to put the lead up to four. Tip the pass. Otherwise, we'd ride an easy deuce. Dickinson is playing a lot faster than they normally do, and that's just because of the pace that has to be set with this press that's being set by Haverford as Goldbach hits another three-pointer. Points off turnovers. Haverford with 12, Dickinson with zero. So there you go. obviously no turnovers for Haverford. It's no opportunity for Dickinson to score. Six-point game, so that adds up right there, doesn't it? <laughs> Wetzel on Lesher, and Wetzel wins this one. Oh, another steal here from Haverford. Easy bucket for number five, Katie Cook. <laughs> a seven point ball game. Haverford there, the second Dickinson broke that press, they went straight into a trap. It's an interesting development. Burkle with the spin move and the finish. Good job for Haverford running their offense really well. I'm really impressed with their ball sharing, the way they're able to move. There's a lot of dribble drive motion. Oh, Burkle, good look. Nice pass. Ooh. Cleans that glass pretty well. Five of, five of ten from the field. And just a great defensive presence as well. So the 21st double-double of Lesher's career. Let's see if she can top that off with a victory here on a great Saturday. First half for a double-header as Cook drives in with the soft touch. Forge regain the lead. Point in the afternoon for her as Dickinson regains the lead. There's Gallic inside to Wetzel. Haven't seen much of her this half. Easy move off the glass. They're currently in sole possession of fifth place after the big win on Thursday night. This one's tossed over to Wetzel. And an easy bucket there to tie the game back up. But has Cook up top to Furk. Goldbach into Wetzel. Wetzel tosses it up off the mark. Volleyball pass out. Clark, three, oh. yes. Haverford regains the lead. Big shot right there. He had three lead changes in the first quarter, then nothing for Aaron Ball, but throws it away. Clark, no one around her, and she lays this one up and in as Haverford takes a three-point lead, 59-56, 230 left. Center. He's pretty hyped up for this one, I'm sure. As that'll be the ball game here today. Haverford's going to win this one 61-56. Big night for Cassidy Lesh.